I want your opinion regarding Fisher & Paykel refrigerator complaints. The standard model uses a compressor in a freezer that pushes cold air down into the fridge. That's rather common, and so is the problem of the vent between them getting blocked, preventing the fridge getting cold. A more common complaint with Fisher & Paykel refrigerators is the fan in the freezer that pushes their air down freezing up. That means the fridge does not get cold. And your freezer turns into a reenactment of the movie Frozen. What other complaints have you heard about Fisher & Paykel refrigerators? The compressors tend to have problems starting at random. That's probably the starter relay or starting capacitor. I do not know what the unit use is because I don't actually have one. The fridges are attractive because they are cheaper than their peers, but like a printer's ink, maintenance is the ongoing source of revenue for them. You could say that of the little plastic pieces that break off in some of the rivals. They are loud, and that gets worse when the compressor is first starting. My furnace can get so loud when it starts up that I wake up. Their reliability is mediocre, which is even worse when you realize most of the Fisher & Paykel refrigerator models do not have an ice maker. I do not get that remark. When you put an ice maker in any fridge, Consumer Report says the reliability goes down. So if you have average reliability with Fisher & Paykel and no ice maker, it is actually below average. There are a lot of complaints for poor service when repairing the unit, whether they break one thing while fixing another or needing multiple visits to fix the problem. Maytag generates complaints for the latter issue. And I do not want to make a decision on Fisher & Paykel appliances because local repair guys are not high quality. Their control boards go out a lot. That's expensive to replace. The cost goes up if you can't get a hold of customer service to try to get them to honor the warranty. Then again, they make it hard to find the parts online as well. I can understand that the manufacturer does not want you buying replacement compressors and control boards online. I'm talking about consumables like water filters that should be easily replaced without going through an expensive repair tech. Okay, that's a valid complaint. When it all adds up, you cannot afford a Fisher & Paykel refrigerator over the long term.